wouldn't you love to have strawberries right out your back door on your patio or deck? I'm with Wayne at Little Baja right on Burnside and you have a great project for us today. Yeah, we're going to show you how to plant a strawberry jar. Ah, so we have strawberries in a pot and there's actually many plants in here. Yeah, there's actually, this is one gallon and there's actually 12 in there. I got this at Portland Nursery and you can just go up there and uh, get yourself uh, a lot of different varieties of mm -hmm. the kind. This is an everbearing here and then I have some uh, June bearing over here. Ah, great. So you have a good technique. So let's start and how we're going to do this. Well, first of all, let's grab this up here. Yeah, we're going to take some of our, we're going to fill up the bottom of the pot okay. with our all purpose black gold. That's a great soil to use. And you always want to use potting soil. You don't want to use soil from the garden. So um, it's always good to get a bag of soil. And these things take quite a bit of soil. All right, and you start at the bottom because it's easier when you fill the pockets, right? Yeah, I'm gonna just put enough in the bottom to do the bottom pockets. All right. We've taken our uh, plants out of the pot and we're gonna okay. separate them here. All right, wow, these And are we beautiful. should have a dozen of them here. All right, nice. And once we separate them out. Okay. And, and they're going to lots of root system on these. They sure do. Yeah. And these so are going to fit each two. one of those little pockets, yeah, right? Yeah, we're going to put one per pocket. All right. This one's probably a double, but we'll probably put that one on top. All right. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. I think some of them have grown together. Oh, right here. There you go. Ah, there we go. There we go. So we're just going to take the first one here. And so how do you fix the roots so that they're really um, going to explode into the soil? I'm going to try to straighten them out as much as possible, starting okay. at the bottom and work our way up. All right, and then just kind of gently put it around the roots. Just yep, like that. set it in there. Here's another one. And we're just going to go around to do the bottom ones first. Okay. So it seems like it's a pretty easy process there, Wayne. Yeah, I think you want to, you want to make sure not to fill the pot all the way up until you get to the top. Okay, so do it layer by layer. Yeah, layer by layer. All get right. in there. Just straighten the roots out here. Tuck them down in there. Now start at the next level. And this is a uh, nine pocket strawberry jar. We have threes, fours, sixes, nines, twelves, all the way up to twenty pockets. That's a good way to do it. Well, this one's got a lot of roots on that one. Mm -hmm. And so we're up to the second level now. Yeah. We added more soil in. That's coming along really nice, and it's pretty easy. Yeah. Now this, these strawberry jars or strawberry pots, some people call them, don't have to be solely used for strawberries. They can be used for herbs mm -hmm. and flowers. I've seen some customers make really nice, uh, really nice. Uh, I want my water here. Oh, so you want to water I before want to you water plant as the I top? go up just okay. a little bit here. Kinda. Right. The problem with the uh, Strawberry jars, since it is a funnel, mm -hmm. it takes a little while for the water to soak all the way through, and the soil is moist too, so it's okay. going to take a while. Okay, now we've got up to the top, I'm going to put in uh, three at the top up here. And then why don't you uh, put the soil all the way to the top? Oh, that? well, we want to leave a little bit of reservoir. Most, the biggest mistake people make with uh, strawberry jars is filling them all the way to the top, mm -hmm. and since they are a funnel, they require more draining time. Let's put a bigger one okay. in there. You want to pop those apart? They're kind of joined, but you can just tease it apart there. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I think it'll be fine. So don't be afraid to kind of pull them apart. Apparently, yeah, it doesn't seem go. to bother them. All right. Now we got a little hole there, stuff down in the hole, and we'll put a little more on the okay. top up here. Fill it in. All right. And as you water. The pot will clean itself up a little bit, mm -hmm. but we leave a little reservoir up here, and you want to be above the neck right here. All right. And but not if you get it too high, then when you water it, all the soil will just oh. wash off over the top. It'll be a big mess. Yeah. So now you got you get yourself a nice little strawberry. Got, well, we would get nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got uh, two left four, over. Yeah, we got fourteen out of that. All right. <laughs> And so we'll be able to put this in the full sun on our patio or deck? Yeah, I'm going to put this in full sun. I uh, only water it once in the morning, let it completely dry out for the next day. And uh, we like to fertilize with uh, fertilize once a week. Okay. You know, so to help them kind of perk up a little bit. And come strawberry time, it's going to be filled with strawberries right yeah. out our back door. Right. As you can see, we've got several planted up. 
And we have even have some from last year that keep coming back every year. They're beautiful. Yeah. If you need any more information about how to get to Little Baja or any of your information about this project, you can go to gardentime.tv and we'll click you over to their website. It's a great project for you for this springtime. You can have strawberries right out your back door.